Best-selling author Greg Anderson said, Focus on the journey, not the destination. Joy is found not in finishing an activity, but in doing it. Unless, of course, you're talking about a book. And then finish and publish the goddamn thing. Apropos of nothing, I am Evo Terra. And this is the Books and Beer Hangout. Hello again, and welcome to another episode of Books and Beer, our weekly chat on all things indie publishing. My name is Jeff Moriarty with ePublish Unum, and our guest today is Adam Bainick, a longtime writer who has not yet crossed the Rubicon into becoming a full-fledged author. We're going to talk with Adam about his journey and why it isn't yet complete. Adam, say hello, introduce yourself, and uh, tell us what you are drinking. I'm Adam. I'm obviously a writer. I write short fiction on a weekly basis because I'm completely and utterly insane. I have my fingers in more projects than I care to think about. And I am drinking a Shiner Boff. This is a Shiner Bohemian Black Lager. Good beer. All right. Uh, my beer uh, this evening is a Mr. Pineapple. A fantastic local brew uh, that comes out for the summer that is finally available in cans. I prefer it on tap, but it's not too bad at all. Eva, what do you got going on tonight? Well, I'm going to go uh, a little heavier than both of you gentlemen. I have, from the Lips of Faith series from the New Belgium, the Cascara Quad. This is a 10% brew uh, with a date and coffee cherries added. So I'll be totally blitzed by the time that this thing is over. Sorry. I'm mildly disappointed that you're not blitzed already. How is it? Is that good? It, it's it's good. Um, it's very sweet. It's not super tart, which a lot of the Lips of Faith stuff is. But I'm I'm I, I'm quite happy. All right. Well, enjoy. Thank you. All right. Yeah. Let's start right in. So why have you not yet been published on Amazon.com or one of the big marketplaces? What exactly are you waiting for? Kind of easy. I, I am not waiting for anything. I am working on writing and writing and writing, and I keep forgetting about the whole publishing thing. <laughs> it's a true story, though. I actually, I, I write a lot of short fiction, which has the possibility of becoming longer fiction, so to speak, and that's actually what I'm working on right now, but I'm sure we'll get to that eventually. And I always think it's it's one of those you get caught in you get caught in a tailspin, expecting the other things to happen if you don't pay attention. If that makes sense. No, you lost me on that one. What do you mean? What you expect I, other things to happen? Like what? Uh, I I just I, I I don't think about it. I just do it. Okay. And so I you, end up losing track of the next step. Okay, so you, you love you love to write. So I, I get this. I'm giving you shit, but I get this, right? I, oh, I love to write, and the mechanics it. and other parts of it are not my favorite either. But I'm aware that there's sort of a life cycle going on there, and that the, you know the whole point is to publish. You're, you you do want to publish. That is the point. Oh, right? absolutely. Not, okay. Well, let me let me. Try. I want to chime in here. So, I mean, we we have just narrowly defined publishing in this two-minute exchange here is getting your book up online on a major marketplace like Amazon.com. But I'm curious, Adam, do you have a different definition of publishing? I mean, do you think you are publishing your stories? Do you feel that you're publishing stories that people are reading right now? I'm definitely publishing stories that people are reading right now. Okay. So what's it mean to you? Tell us the definition of publishing that, that doesn't exist with – that doesn't take the A word into consideration. Are you? If it comes down to money, obviously you're going to have to pu you're going to have to publish on Amazon on one of the bigger marketplaces. But my definition of publishing does not necessarily include that. Okay. Money is not my end goal. Money is a nice a nice little side effect mm -hmm. in the near future. I hope. I pub I publish a lot like there there are a lot of uh there's a lot of web comics out there. They publish, they give their work for free, and then they have the donations link. Mm -hmm. I try to do that. It okay. works occasionally. 
not as often as I would like. <laughs> sure. So where, where are you doing this? Where are you putting these stories that people are reading right now? I do. I, I put stories up on blogs on Blogspot, mm -hmm. on Blogger. I put stories up on Wattpad. I put I put links to stories all over the place. Mm -hmm. I use goodness. I use Pearl Tree for most of my links. I share links on Google Plus, obviously. Right. Um, I'm actually rewriting one of my one of my better known stories. A lovely corpse is being rewritten, and I'm posting all three parts online as I finish them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, there are people out there who do serial fiction and release it like that and do the link donation, but they say right up front, this is all I'm interested in. This is what they want to do. But I get that, well, you just said, that your goal is to actually get out on Amazon.com. So um, is there a time frame you're looking to actually make that happen? Or I mean, is, is it something inherent in your, in your own workflow and process you need to change around to actually you know, make that shift? Part of the problem is I can't edit right away after I finish something. Once I'm fin once I'm finished with a short story, I don't go back and think, you know, I need to fix this. I need to make it pretty. I think, okay, I'm done with this. On to the next story. Mm -hmm. That is just how I work. That is why I have a hundred plus short stories that all need editing at the moment. Right. I am working on editing those short stories at, at those short stories right now. I am due to have a short of collection of short stories and in, in a little bit less than a month. Once I get moving, I move fast. Okay. So you got a goal in mind. That, that makes a lot of sense. But it sounds like what you're also doing, Adam, is as you're focusing in on the writing piece of it right now, um, a lot of authors forget about the writing piece and that they, they write a book, they edit it, they publish it, and then they go, how come no one's buying my stuff because they did that once? You're probably not going to make that mistake because if you've got 100 different short stories right now or whatever the number happens to be, that's material. That's content that you can leverage going forward, which is actually a really smart way to do that. Out of all the things that you mentioned, um, which of those, let's call them alternative publishing methods, which one do you like the best and would recommend for other compulsive writers in your shoes? I would actually recommend Wattpad, believe it or not. I okay. don't, and when I say say that, I, I have to put a, I can't think of the word right now, go figure. Um, I have to I have to put a modifier on it. That's okay. what I'm thinking. I myself do not use Wattpad as much as I would like. And the reasoning behind that is all of my work is over on Blogspot. In order to use Wattpad to its fullest potential, I would have to take all 100 of those stories, transfer them from Blogger to Wattpad. Now okay. I have to consider is that worth my time. But yeah. Wattpad is a fantastic platform. It truly is. So you've got a lot of these stories on, on your, your blog, on, on, on Blogger. Um, you got an idea of how many people are reading you over there, or maybe and also on Wattpad too. What's, what's your audience look like, do you think? Oh. To answer this, I will say I have quite the following on Google+. Yep. I do put out work regularly on Google+, and they do go there. I get about 500 hits per story when I post it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, for a little while, people forget, and then I write my next story, and people go back, and they go through my backlog. Sure. So that's how I work. Okay. So My work got, is not unknown. Right, right. No, and, and I think that's the key thing that I'm thinking of here is you're, you're being smart about using social media, blogs, free things like Wattpad, uh, Pearl Trees, all those things to not only build content, but you're also building an audience so that when you finally do take that step where you say, okay, this one's going to cost you, whether it's 99 cents or – a dollar ninety nine or five that who cares? This is going to cost you. You've built up an audience of people who actually may be willing to give you some financial support in the way of paying for your work. That's that's a goal, yes. 
That is absolutely the goal. And not only that, they have all, they've already read the stories, but they've read the rough draft. Yeah. Now they're buying the book to see what other content I have added. Sure. And the way I work, oftentimes I will work with other writers. I will work with artists. Uh, I, I will work with people who produce images. I will write stories for those images. And every and with every story also has a link back to them. It's cross promotion. It's not just for me; it's for them, which makes them more likely to work with me in the future. You're building a network of people you can collaborate with, us too. Perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, you're you know what you're doing is avoiding a problem that you know, most people that I talk to, most writers that I talk to, when they haven't taken the step into being an author or getting you know published in some of the larger ways. When they finally do it, they wonder why no one's buying their book, why no one's engaged, and you're not going to have that because you're already doing all that, uh, doing all that legwork. It's it's Absolutely. interesting. To, it's interesting to me though too. I mean, I have uh, another friend of mine who's a writer. She got her first book out, and she's got a print-on-demand version, and she's you know in some of the marketplaces and so on. And where she gets stuck is the editing. Right? Her problem. She gets this one book out, and she's edited that thing like a thousand times. And your focus is more that writing it's interesting along that process to me anyway uh, where people get uh, you know really kind of dig in hey Adam I've got a quick question here and, and it, it may wind up being our final question because we like to go to the 15 minute mark um, I, I like you I spend a lot of time on Google Plus some say too much time on Google Plus monitoring or uh, mo moderating the digital um, uh, publishing community Hello. That's okay. We can we can take the call later. So, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no worries. It'll it'll eventually stop. Um. Do do you think that authors sometimes new to this idea publish too quickly? I do. A yeah. lot of times. I actually because I write so much, I actually already have an editor who's purposely willing to help me help me at no cost. Yep. I have my my publicist, which is to say my followers who reshare my work, who spread the word. I have my fan base already set up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is all already done. A lot of people do publish these things before they get edited, before they get double-checked, before they're well-known, before their style is even developed, before they even have their own voice. Right. Which causes a lot of problems, obviously, down the road because their writing style has completely changed, and then they've lost their readers. Yeah, yeah, I can see where that where, where that would actually be 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 a challenge for a lot of people. But and you're right, like you, I think people publish way too quickly, um, uh, and I think they should focus more on learning how to become a better writer. And it sounds like you're going down that path. So I can't I can't fault you for any decisions, man. You know, regardless of what I might have implied at the intro. Uh, that's uh, I think is a real, real, real smart way to do that for you. So, awesome. All right, man. Well, thank you very much for being on the program with us today, my friend. Absolutely, anytime. All right, we will have you back on to cover you when you get your new stuff published. And we didn't talk much about it, but I'm going to put links to uh, some ways that you can read Adam and see the things that he is doing. You can find that and plus all the notes we talked about here today over at booksandbeer.com. The Books and Beer Hangout is a production of e Publish Unum. We help digital indie authors survive and thrive in this modern world in which we live. For more information, education, insights, classes, and lots of great stuff, check us out at epublishunum.com. For Jeff Moriarty, I am Evo Terra. Thanks for enjoying the show. <laughs>